Good afternoon, everybody. Solar Power Health, I'm Sandy, and I am going to take you through uh, my most favorite and famous Caesar salad dressing that I serve at a lot of my events. Um, and yeah, I think it's quite delicious. So, <laughs> so you're gonna need a high-speed blender, or actually you, any blender will work. Um, and we're gonna start with my favorite ingredient, aquafaba. So aquafaba is literally bean water. Um, this is from canned chickpeas, but if you cook your own chickpeas, you can use the water from that too. You just might want to concentrate it down a little bit. But this gives it that egg um, texture, and it's it's really great for all matters of cooking that you'd like to turn vegan and any egg replacement. You can use chickpea water, aquafaba, or you can use, um, yeah. So we're gonna put four tablespoons in. So four tablespoons aquafaba. I just keep this in my freezer. Every time I open a can or cook my chickpeas, I just keep all the water and freeze it. And you can use it anytime you want to, even pre-portion it. Usually I use fresh squeezed lemon juice, but uh, times are a little trying right now with this pandemic and us having to store long-term things. So I have organic pure lemon juice we're gonna use and we're gonna put two tablespoons of that in with our aquafaba. Make sure it's lemon and not lime. <laughs> Awesome. So as we move on, next we're gonna add some garlic powder. Just one teaspoon of garlic powder. And because there can never be enough garlic, I'm gonna add some cloves of garlic in. Generally I use about two cloves of garlic, but uh, this is social isolation time and nobody has to hear you know, my face right next to them as they're getting a massage. So I've got uh, five little cloves here that I'm throwing in to make it extra garlicky. Next, we're gonna add one teaspoon of white wine vinegar. You can use coconut vinegar here or probably rice wine as well if you'd like, or sorry, rice vinegar. I just always use white wine vinegar. It's not essential. Next, we have vegan Worcestershire sauce. So we're gonna add one teaspoon of that. So one teaspoon, ah, that's gonna be much more than one teaspoon, but all good. We're gonna add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Interesting fact about mustard is one of the best superfoods in the world. So it's super easy to make it, sell, make it yourself. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you scroll down through my YouTube videos, there's, uh, there's a recipe in there to do it. It's so simple, so easy. Mustard seeds are full of omega oils and so good for you. Um, but there's also uh, companies out there that make raw mustard seeds and um, this is a great one too. I don't know what the brand is. Um, but the recipe will tell you everything you need to know. It's water, mustard seeds, apple cider vinegar, sea salt. There's nothing else in it. No color, no preservatives. Mustard is its own preservative. So we're gonna add a teaspoon of raw Dijon mustard. My teaspoon is a lot bigger than others, but I, I love mustard. It's like one of my favorite foods. We're going to add, we need, all right, they're clean. <laughs> so we're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of salt. Now that being said, I, I always just estimate this. I love my salt. Salt is also another thing that's overlooked. A lot of people think of it as a bad food, but um, sun-dried Celtic sea salt is actually high in a lot of minerals. And, and when they say sodium is bad for you, they're usually talking about processed sodium, which is very bad for you. But not everything has to be so scary. Nutritional yeast. So this is gonna give it that, that Parmesan substitute. And to me, it tastes a lot better. Um, Caesar salad was one of my favorite foods even 14 years ago before I switched to this vegan diet. So it's, um, it's very delicious. 
So we're gonna do about two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Almost there, folks. My stomach is rumbling. <laughs> black pepper, fresh ground black pepper. There is no substitute. Um, you want to get the, the fresh ground because it releases the pepperine, which is the constituent in black pepper that is so good for you. Um, otherwise, you're getting radiated, um, literal uh, chemical pepper that's not going to have a lot of benefit. And in my opinion, not a lot of flavor either. Our last ingredient is oil, avocado oil. We have organic avocado oil. We're going to put two um, thirds of a cup in. So I have my one third measuring. The beauty of making a Caesar salad dressing is there's no drizzle the oil in very slowly. You just dump everything together and you go with it. And I've made this in my little small tri-vest um, blender as well. So you do not need special equipment for the Caesar salad. Awesome. Now we're going to blend it and it's going to turn into a white, delicious dressing. I'm so excited to eat. dressing show you just like that aquafaba turns everything into deliciousness you can make meringues with it and a whole bunch of other stuff I use it to make mayonnaise and I will promise to keep active on sharing these recipes as we're all stuck at home right now and um, there's still ways of eating healthy this salad dressing once it's made lasts for about a week in the fridge um, it's never lasted that long in this house though because we generally eat it as soon as we make it. <laughs> Have a great day everyone and I look forward to sharing more recipes soon. Bye!